There's the good side of business, there's the bad side of business. For the people that are watching this that got the wrong fing idea about buying diamonds or about selling them, watch the fing out. Don't end up in this story because we gotta sit here and transform the diamond business. VVS2, VS1, you're not gonna spot a difference. It's a breezy miracle. It's a breezy miracle. I know people with the VV and this, 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 this. Just stop at that shit. 242,000. 192. Some of the early people that we did business with. 58, 187. I see the looks on their faces. There's a couple. Another day, another couple hundred thousand. 49.02. His scale doesn't even hold his shit, okay? 49.01. So you better f off because of how greedy and grimy you were. When you're making a purchase, I don't give a f if it's 50 fucking dollars. You want to have it come out like a straight line. Cooper boy. I need to get in there. Cooper boy, you have to sit here and make monies. Oh. <laughs> you don't even know what the f the jewelry business is. No one's going to do this much work per dollar than us here at Trax My 69 and 160. Check out the goods, pick them up, bring them back. $185 a carrot. What can this penny teach you about money? I know you don't give a shit about pennies. Just how great these stones are. Because you're fools, blinded. They're all VS. Everything's VS. Shit. <laughs> 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 a fucking tragedy, bro. I've been asking this guy to make a dollar's worth of pennies for fucking forever. That's what the jewelry business is all about, sourcing materials, production. There's so many tire kickers and low lives in this business and in this world. That's really what this show is about. If I could pull this business off or not. And you're gonna see how I do it if I do. I hide nothing. I don't need to hide anything. I know how to use the truth as a weapon. This is not the reality that's scripted reality. This is indeed reality. This song is called Diamond Price is Going Up. Sing the Diamond District Blues. <laughs> You're looking at over 1,500 carats of diamonds and we're gonna show you what the price is and we're gonna show you exactly how we do business. We've depleted a good amount of goods now and it's time to re-up. There's a diamond shortage, diamond prices are up, but this is a, a good deal. We're gonna go check out the goods, pick them up, bring them back and analyze all the stones and see exactly what kind of makes they are, color, clarity, and where we can fit it within our price range. And the more important thing is we're gonna show you how we do business. So what is the total? A couple of hundred thousand? A couple of hundred thousand. Another day, another couple of hundred thousand. When you're making a purchase, I don't give a f if it's 50 dollars, you wanna have it come out like a straight line. That's what the f we wanna do when we're spending our money. We've done a lot of business with a lot of diamond dealers. Some of them do it real, real stupid, real, real fucked up. But you know, business is business. Some people think this, some people think that. Vinu Kumar thinks he's doing us a favor. We think we're doing him a favor. We gotta figure out and find a, a nice, fair, common ground, mutual compromise with uh, what we're bringing to the table, and that's it. What me and Danny bring to the table is fair, easy, stress free, no bull business. We get to the point, we get to the money, we pick up the parcels, we drop off the checks. FG VS2, VS1. I didn't even... Uh, it's oh. like VS1, VS2. Okay. But cool. VS quality. Thai cut, machine cut goods. Excellent Thai, made. Thai cut. Okay. Yeah. Excellent made. Okay. Cool. Very nice. All right. Thai cut means like uh, th cut in Thailand mm. and it's uh, excellent made. Mostly goods are, you know, when it comes to top of the line quality and cut, yeah. they say Russian make or Thai make. Machine cut goods. Yeah. And you have a loop? Actually, I want to see one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess. Uh, well, I want to show Max, so high color. This is a, a G plus, right? GF, you said? Oh, yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah. Okay. Thank okay. you very much. <laughs> Fabricio, my friend. This is tuyo. <laughs> okay. This return, this is a, a, from a client, right? So he wants to add diamond. I know it's kind of dangerous because this is already sealed in there. This is a actual uh, uh, coin, right? He wants diamond around the edge, Pavi. I'm gonna ask him if he could do it. Here, around here, here, here. I don't know because I have a feeling if he starts setting here, this, this could be loose. I have a feeling, but he knows. He's an expert, he's a setter. I mean, I know partially setting, but he, 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 he's, uh, he's an expert, so. I'm not gonna spend 
special. Yeah, special. She's disappointed because I interrupt her, her lunch, right? Uh, yeah, he's always okay. like that. It's not the first time. <laughs> not because of you guys. He he just like that. What, are you like to interrupt always? Sí. Really? Because I always have a lot of Always. Chibro. <laughs> Yo te lo dejo, yo voy a hablar con Georgie. Por eso te queremos tanto, Joan. Nos alegra que tú vengas a esta oficina. Te alegra. ¿Te alegra? Sí. ¿Te alegra mucho? No tanto. ¿O poquito? No tanto, loco, no me interrumpe el almuerzo. Ok, está bien, está bien. This is one company, a beautiful Indian company that we're working with. Not bad at all. We Fantastic people, not like this fing CBD thief. So, this is how the parcels start out, right? We're here to look at the goods. So, let's take a look, Danny, see what we got going on. So, a special note to all diamond dealers, diamond buyers, and diamond anything uh, when, it, when it comes to regards to what you're seeing here. This is serious business, this is real business. We're not playing around. And uh, there's a lot to it. We spent millions and millions upon millions of dollars on diamonds and in the jewelry industry, uh, 100 million plus. That's not money you want to play around with. It's a big responsibility to client, to the vendor, so on and so forth. I have a strict code of conduct for business. And that goes both ways, double-edged sword. And there's some diamond dealers that get greedy. There's some people that, uh, you know, stray from the path or whatever the f cases this is a big one 242,000 you have about 600 a little over 600 carats There's your total carat weight and your price now unfortunately prices went up they did go up and they went up for a reason don't tell me about the beers don't tell me about any of this shit. prices went up labor went up a lot of things went up but why did the prices go up market the market demand demand Shortage of goods. Shortage of goods. Demand. That's right. People needed more. There was a lot of printed dollars and so on and so forth. Here we have two parcels. One of them is 147 carats. One of them is 51 carats. Here's your price per carat. Here are the parcels. Now, obviously, this has 147 carats of diamonds. Zoom in. I'm not going to be able to go through each one of these stones. What I'm doing here is to make sure that the bag on the inside and the carat weight matches with the number here. As long as that's good, that's all I, I want to make sure. And then I'm going to bring the stones back to my office and inspect it into detail. But I can't sign an invoice that says $99,000 without checking to make sure that I'm actually getting the stones here, right? Now, we've been doing business for a very long time, so I know if they write 51 carats, it's going to be 51 carats. But I need to do my due diligence and open up each one of them to make sure. This feels like the heaviest one right here, all right? Let's take a look, okay? So zoom in on here, 725 carats, $285,000. Copy and let's just match them up. We have 57 carats, 192, 58, 187, 69, and 160. We're gonna match it up to make sure it's on the invoice before we sign each invoice. All right. So I'm writing on these invoices before I sign for them, goods received, not checked, which means I'm taking the goods, but I'm not checking. I'm not double checking the carry weight or the quality or anything. But like I said, we've been doing this for many, many times, many, many years. We never had an issue, so I'm not, I'm not gonna think that we're gonna have an issue today. Uh, a diamond loose over here. It must have came out of that little parcel. I swallow it for good luck. Bruh. <laughs> Add it up. I mean, we got 99,240 and 280. That's a pretty big pickup here. Honestly, oh, you got, you got Honestly, everyone loves Cooper, huh? <laughs> Are you want me to throw Cooper out of here? No, no, Cooper. no. Cooper. Cooper does exactly what Cooper wants. Look at that. You don't care about that box. How's life with Cooper, bit, Roya? It's much better. <laughs> yeah, life with Cooper is not I that feel much. like safe, yeah. He's my bodyguard. Oh, that's fantastic. <laughs> no, more, no more mouse. No more mouse, yeah. No more mice. Yeah, <laughs> no, you'll never see a mouse while Cooper's around. Yeah, exactly. He's Mr. Tough Guy, right, Cooper? It's all about Cooper Boy. So that's why he's here, because I'm really scared of mouse. And I'm scared of too much. I mean, it's like phobia. And I'm, <laughs> yeah, I'm jumped here. And I swear to God, I'm here. She has some home. There. And I told Max because I told him, please, I need a Cooper. I really need Cooper. And then he gave me Cooper. Thanks. Well, now it's time for Cooper Grabsers. <laughs> Cooper Grabsers. 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 Cooper Grabsers.
Cooper boy. Cooper boy, you have to sit here and make monies. <laughs> you want to take this to this guy? Uh... You can make such a movie out of me even just making this ring. That could go really ridiculous, you know what I'm saying? Four stones? Are these GIA or are these natural? GIA, GIA. GIA natural ones, huh? Yeah, yeah, I have all the GIA. All ones. certified stones as usual. Whatever it is, I mean, people think that you don't play around in the jewelry business. You don't even know what the f the jewelry business is, man. So this is another custom, custom for... Um, yeah, it's another one we another got one. done. Another one. We're gonna get done. So the customer sent me a picture of the symbol that represented excellent. Well, he gave that to me and told me to, you know, freestyle it, get creative with it. So I came up with the design, the excellent sign. We're gonna put four big princess cut diamonds. All of them GIA certified, straight from India. All of them GIA certified, straight from Mumbai, BKC. BKC, it's a district in, uh, uh, in Mumbai where they get us, uh, they sort all the diamonds and trade diamonds there. Um, so yeah, these are straight from India. Straight from Mumbai, straight from that place, uh, BKC. Tail we got piece. the rounds right here ready. They're all VS. Everything's VS. Yeah. All these VVS1, these are all the rounds. This stupid. Nigga, I need one for myself. What's up guys? Just finished this ring right here. Beautiful ring, about four, four princess cut diamonds in there, about half a carat each. Each one of those stones come with a certification. We had to, we had to go on the wrap net and specially find each one of these stones to match the same exact size. You know, so that it takes a lot of work and a lot of attention to detail to make a piece like this. Every stone on here is VVS1, except for the, the smaller princess cuts in the middle. Those are VS. Look at the scintillation in the diamonds. A scintillation is a word used to describe the play of light when the diamond is moving. If you want something like this, DM me at Liam Tracks or come on down to the store, hit the live chat. Tracks NYC. Um, in reality, it's a lot of diamonds to look over and check, so they're gonna be done in intervals. I'm not gonna leave all the stones with my guy for right now. A portion of it, we're gonna leave with him. He's gonna check and we're gonna do that for the next few days until we can get through the entire parcels. So what we have is 1,631 carats, roughly. Right, and the, the total value on this is, uh, we're gonna retail it for around a million dollars worth of diamonds right here. Anybody else, usually in the diamond district, would be closer to two million dollars worth of diamonds. Obviously, we didn't pay that much for them. We had the proper terms and we had the proper business to make this transaction happen. We're taking you on the inside. We're, take, we're showing you how it's actually done. So please understand it. There's no other jeweler in the world that's ever sat here and explained anything. So I don't wanna read any comments about them, any stupid shit. And if you want to sit here and get bold and leave a bold comment, be prepared because I'm going to address it. Gold price is around 1929 bucks, and diamond prices have gone up like crazy. This is a parcel that I just received that we don't like, and I'm going to tell you why we don't like this parcel, okay? What we're revealing here is that we're doing business a certain way, and we're, we're doing something and explaining things that no one else does. However, there's the good side of business, there's the bad side of business. For the people that are watching this that got the wrong fucking idea about buying diamonds or about selling them, watch the out. Don't end up in this story because we got to sit here and transform the diamond business. If you want to be caught in those wheels, you're going to be caught in those wheels. I'm doing you a favor by not telling your fucking story. I'm doing you a fucking favor. Remember that. It's hard to tell, okay, but you'll see just how gray these stones are, okay? This is my invoice or my memo for these four bags of diamonds. Now you see, plus 11, right? that means that's the plate size, that's, that's this, this parcel right here. So about 83 carats plus 11 goes down here. Out of all these parcels, we're only taking this one. Why is that? Because the price is right on this, all right? These, the price is, is not right. And the quality's not there either. So as an example, we used to pay about dollars a carat for something that had a better look to it. Okay, and within the last 60 days, it's it, it shot these these goods up to and now today today, what are we looking at on that on that more in but 
250, I believe, right? About $200 more per carat. About $200 more per carat. The diamonds have increased in such, it increased a lot in a short period of time, and that's why it's really hard for us to even keep up. Okay, so we're gonna return these goods and we're gonna ask for a quality and a shade better up so that we can try to match our current quality with the previous quality because our previous quality was really good. The diamond price was much lower. Now, in order to maintain that same quality, we have to spend more on the diamonds. Of course, we have to raise our prices. It goes down to you, right? So this parcel right here has 67 point, uh, 69 69.71 carats plus six and a half. So if you look down here and we match this parcel, 69 point 60, uh, 68 here, 71. It's always plus or minus a little bit off from the scales, but this parcel costs $19,100, right? So $20,000 just right here. Another parcel that we recently got. All right, so here we have quarters, fifths, and thirds. Big stones here. Your thirds, which are your 30 pointers. Your quarters, which are your quarter carats, 25 pointers. And then your 20s, right? The dealer has a really great deal, so he says. So I say, okay, it's a great deal, bring it over. It's not a great deal. These stones are a very, very off color. They're terrible make and the quality really is in there. Yes, they're big. Yes, they still have a good shine to them. Yes, I can use them, but what's gonna happen is um, the customers are not gonna be satisfied. At the end of the day, when they compare it to something comparable or they try to do an upgrade or they do anything, it's gonna bite them in the butt because the quality is just not there for the price, right? So we're gonna be returning these and, and trying to get some better parcels. It's, it's really a, a game, back and forth game, right? Well, I don't wanna sit here and, and do anything other than make things clear in the business so people could get what they want, uh, people could sell their product in the proper way, and people could buy the product in the proper way, know what their value is. That's my mission, and I accomplish my mission. We make that clear. No one makes it as clear as us. And you know, we censor proprietary information, prices and things like that. We gotta have a profit margin. We gotta stay competitive. But that doesn't mean keeping people uh, uh, you know, uh, in the closet of what the hell is going on in this industry. Something really new and fun we did. We took the G-Shocks, the, Cassi, the Casio G-Shocks, and we made these Casio Oaks. All right, so it's a play on the Audemars Piguet Royal Oak watch. What we do is take the band off, we take the bezel off, and we put it into this case right here. Right here. This is a Casio case. Put the heads in there. What I did was I put VS quality diamonds. So the diamonds on this G-Shock are better than most AP watches. Right, we really try to go above and beyond. These are really cool. Also available on tracksnyc.com. Make sure you guys visit, hit the live chat button. Really good, clean setting. We did our best with this. I've seen them pop up somewhere on Instagram or here and there in some ads, but the way they did it was very terrible. Here's just an example. Here's an AP watch side by side. This is an older style model. Our real fans enjoy watching, watching this, uh, what we do and how we do it. Because they purchased the jewelry and they, and they never knew how it got there, but now they know this is how it gets there. A real, real business way. This business got started with a digital camera, that little digital camera over there. A Canon power shot sitting there in the corner. That's how this business got going. And step by step, person by person, diamond by diamond, transaction by transaction, handshake by handshake. We got it to this point in here, out there at the shop, and all over the diamond district and all over the world. The year is 2004. I had a fake, I had a fake North Face jacket that I bought on Canal Street for sixty dollars. This digital camera, a shoulder bag with pieces of paper in it, and I'd go up and I'd say, "Hey, can I take pictures of some jewelry on this counter? Try to, um, uh, you know, put it up on eBay." You'd have the little LCD, it'd, it'd pop up. You press the button halfway to get, let it focus, and then click it down to take the picture. Get that right shot, crop it out, put it up on eBay, get this party started. Nobody knew what the f was going on, man. Nobody, everybody's eyes are completely fucking closed, man. You know, people only know what they believe, what they know. You know what I'm saying? They believe in the same shit. Somebody with a camera, market, online, digital market, they didn't give a fuck about that. What I realized about humanity all these, after all these years, they're not using their heads to think. They're just not. 
And that's crazy to say about a whole civilization, but that's just what's happening. They're sitting there and they're thinking, he's thinking to the, what he's thinking uh, on the left of him, to the right of him, he's going to start doing the same thing because they don't have the mental capacity to come up with their own ideas, I guess. I'm going to ask you to like, comment, and subscribe. Subscribe because we're going to be giving out gems on this program and we want you to catch them. And they might be physical gems or they might be mental gems, but they're going to enrich you one way or another. First judgment? Yes. On this three parcel? Yes. I don't like it. So at first sight, he doesn't like it. All right? Because the quality, quality is mixed. Make is mixed. All oh, the color is mixed too. Okay. And some of them are already chipped. Already chipped some of them, right? Why is that? Well, it's because the market's messed up, right? The real reason the market is messed up is because everyone is always looking to get what they used to get. What everything is about what they used to. Oh, well, I used to only pay 250 Oh, well, they used to be much better. Everyone is trying to remake what they used to make at the old prices, and, and it's really becoming difficult, right? Because right now, prices are just unreasonable. The same thing with watches. I, my, my cousin wants to get a watch. He's looking at the prices. It's unreasonable. You have to pay a premium in order to get it. And if you don't pay the premium, in the month or two, it's just going to go higher, and you're going to be kicking yourself in the butt saying, man, I wish I actually pulled the trigger and did it. So Jen is going to look at these and give me a, a quick rough estimate on what we see here. I'll indicate to our diamond dealers what we see, and then he's going to take a much more detailed in look at um, you know more of the other stones once he gets upstairs. And we're going to see what exactly we can use out of this lot. You're looking at almost 100 carats for this piece. Okay, let's go get it set. Right. George, you take a look at this. Wow. Oh, my oh God. Shit, dude. Damn. That's a big dude. That's crazy. Open that lock up, bro. Look at that thing. You can, you can whip somebody with that thing. Oh, it, it pins. Oh, no, the prongs pinch your t shirt. It's all right. Damn. Let's throw this on the scale. Is your scale strong enough? It's not going to hold it. His scale doesn't even hold his shit, okay? All right, so one thing he's doing, he's, he says he's going to check the weights just to make sure that what I'm giving him is um, the correct carry weight. 49.02, 49.01. So his scale says 49.01.2. It's jumping a little bit, which is okay. It's a diamond scale, and my bag says 49.01. So he's just going to go by what my bag says, 49.01. If it's a little, it's 0.2 because, you know, it is what it is. If you're dealing with bigger stones, a point will matter, but in a big parcel like this, it's not the end of the world. Some stones are a good make and a bad make. What's the difference between a good and bad make. Let's say you're dealing with, for example, a three millimeter stone, which is roughly, I believe, about um, two point nine, about ten pointers. So even though you'll have all two point nine stones, and they're supposed to weigh point uh, zero point ten, some of them might be mad bad makes. What does that mean? The same stone will weigh zero point twelve. So it's a little heavier than a regular stone, all right? Because it's the cut is a little bit irregular on the bottom. From the top, you can't tell. What does that equate to? 0.2. Now, if you have 100 stones or 1,000 stones and you multiply 0 0.02 by that, that's a big markup there that you're going to make on the back end, right? That's a diamond dealer special. They love that, the imperfect make. So some of my diamond dealers, they have perfect makes, and some of them, they only have imperfect makes. It, it doesn't go to show that imperfect makes are worse or not. They're just a slightly bit heavier. but. It doesn't matter because we give you guys such a good value, such a good price, that even if we use the perfect stones or the imperfect, or most of the time they're mixed. The imperfect, some of the perfect stones are mixed, and they're the same price per carat. It's just some of them are a little heavier. Same quality, same price per carat, some of them are a little heavier. So when we make your piece and it comes out a little heavier, we're not going to charge you for the 0.30 or 0.40 carats that it took us, but we're definitely paying for that on the back end. So that's why. Better makes are way better than non-better makes on the back end. For the customer, it doesn't make any difference. We need the big boy scale. All right. When I snap my fingers, this chain's going to be polished, rhodium, and completely done. What is this? Uh, Ten and a half carat total okay. weight. Wow, nice. This is platinum, right? I feel it. Yeah. <laughs> right away, yeah. it's heavier. Right? The platinum is heavier. Collection V D E F color VVS. Ivan's the guy. 
Yeah. <laughs> you call them 24 hours? No. Seven days a week? No. 365 days a year? No, so, no. Here, let me give you his number. <laughs> Espera, usted mismo, ¿ya? Ok, yo. Dígame alto cuando quiera. Stop. Ok, ahí. A ver, dígame alto cuando quiera. Stop. Ahí, ahí. Creo que ya hice mal. No. Okay. Dígame alto cuando quiera. Stop. Okay. So, three? Tres. Eh, cuatro. Stop. Ok. Si o no, usted dijo alto donde usted quiso, yo no hice nada. Okay. Fue su decisión. Yeah, más decisión. Ok. That's okay. Una de hoja, es una verde. Vale, dos de corazón. Dos de corazón. Russian, Jewish, Indian, Black, Spanish, Korean. Everybody's here. Everybody's playing around. Everybody's doing something. Everybody's playing. It's a story. Some of the early people that we did business with, I see the looks on their faces. There's a couple. And how you do business, you better f off because of how greedy and grimy you were. So we're doing people a favor by not f sitting there and talking about the grimy sh that they're doing and they're thinking of playing around. There's a price to pay for greed and we'll make you f***ing pay it. Don't forget that you were greedy. I wasn't f***ing greedy. So here's the deal, right? I'm in a, a couple chats, a WhatsApp chats of dealers on 40 Simon Street. There's a We Buy Goods chat, there's a Watch chat. Basically, someone has something to sell, they put in the chat and other wholesalers can pick it up and maybe buy it, right? So yesterday in the chat, someone posted, hey, this guy scanned me, he sold me a stolen diamond. Okay, what does that mean? He posted his receipts and here's what happened. A dealer sold another dealer a diamond. The dealer who sold the diamond to the dealer paid with a check. He has a receipt, he has an invoice, he has everything. The stolen was a GIA certified diamond. Now GIA certified diamonds, they have a inscription, a laser inscription that you cannot see unless you look under a microscope. So the guy bought the diamond, but he bought the diamond at a really good price, which is what we were all saying. Like, hey, it's a really great price. He scooped it up, bought it really quick. The diamond had a GIA certificate, right? But it was a little bit murky. It was done very uh, long time ago. Now GIA standards from before to now, they change. So a lot of times if someone buys a diamond, what they'll do is they'll send it to GIA again and get it regraded. Hopefully it'll get a better grade. And if not, he can always use the other grade because when they, when they redo that, they don't um, re-inscribe it. So what happened was the guy bought the stone and sent it to GIA to inscribe. Now, GA has a stone. Two days after GA received the stone, someone reported it stolen. First thing what happens is NYPD contacts GIA and says, hey, this certificate, this stone has been stolen. If it pops up in your database, let us know. Boom. Two days after the stone went in, they called, GAA got contacted, said the stone was fake, and they confiscated the stone and they gave it back to the police department. So now the police department has to conduct their investigation, seize the stone, hold it, and eventually it might get back to its rightful owner. But in the meantime, the guy who bought the stone is out of a stone. The guy who sold him the stone is claiming that he bought that stone with a check from a legitimate source. So he's claiming he bought it from a check. When they say check, right, when you buy a diamond with a check, you're essentially insuring yourself that if something happens and down the line it's deemed stolen or some shady business, you could say, hey, look, I did in good faith. I gave my vendor money. I gave him a check. Everything's on the up and up. Here's the GIA number. Everything's good. So now one guy is out of a $35,000 stone. The other guy is being accused of selling fake stones. And what's going to happen, we don't know. But eventually we'll find out the side will unfold and we'll get there.
Um, so we keep a detailed, we have diamonds upstairs, we have diamonds down here, we have diamonds everywhere. We keep a detailed log of what diamonds we have where. These parcels I'm holding down here in my safe, they're very big parcels. Every so often, once Jin runs out, runs out of certain size of diamonds that he uses, he's come down here and he's gonna pick out some diamonds to use. Now, let's just show Jelani really quick. This would be a, what we have in stock. Total diamond holdings for, let's just say, at $5 a carat, we have all these stones in stock. So, 1.2 millimeters, we have 51 carats. 1.3, 69. Now think about it, 69 times five. That's a lot of money here on this paper. So we know how many diamonds we're using. We know how many diamonds we have in stock. And every single day, this is manually updated. It's tedious work, but it has to be done to a, keep track of what we're using to create graphs, to understand the patterns better, the, the trends, right? To understand trends, when we're using more, when we're using less, and what we're using. So, Jin, tell me, what are you taking out today? I am. Okay, that's a lot of stones here, big, big parcels. He's low on these 1.1, so we're gonna get some more stones. He's gonna take him out of here, update the list, update the bag, and go from there, right? We gave, you know, millions here, millions there. You know what the profit was, you know what the margins were, and you don't wanna sit here and be fair with balances, and times of payments, you want to squeeze, you want to play? You can't play. Remember, we're doing you a favor by telling you to f off. How much are these cost? All the stones here? Deceive. Deceive, oh, those are expensive. I forget, Jim. Tell me, how much the seeds cost? 26, 2500, 2600? I think it's close to like four or five thousand. Four to five thousand. We went through a bunch of different seeds. To be um, exact with these, uh, what do you call yeah, them? This so is very accurate. Yeah. It's like a laser cut or something. They're laser cut, they're made of titanium. Okay, even though they're made of titanium, over time they do work. Of course. Yeah. So over time we will have to get uh, new seeds. So for this number, so this time for example, we're gonna shift between 1.65 and 1.75. After this, whatever is up here is bigger than 1.75 millimeter, mm -hmm. and what you see over here wow. is uh, basically contains between 1.65 through 1.74 inside. Mm -hmm. So this is stuff that we are using for 1.7 millimeter for our production. This parcel contains between. 1.6 millimeter and 1.8 millimeter. Beautiful. <laughs> Shit, a fucking tragedy, bro. I've been asking this guy to make a dollar's worth of pennies for fucking forever. <gasps> oh no! 100 exactly. There you go. It's a breezy miracle? It's a breezy miracle. <laughs> Illegible. I couldn't clearly see the year on this one, but this is a 2015, so that will not work for the purpose of what I'm doing here. It looks Ooh. like doing, it? it looks like I'm being a penny pincher, doesn't it? Max knows a way to make these more than the one cent value. The ones that were made before 1982. I have it right here, coincidentally. 82. And before it can go 1980, 76, XYZ, 82 and before. It has copper in it. So what we're going to do is show you guys how they've actually changed the penny and the compound materials in them by shaving it down and literally showing you what's inside a penny. And inside this, will be copper, which is a precious metal, and you can then smelt that down, and that's of course worth more than one cent USD. I can get more than one penny for a penny. Why would I not? Breezy finally landed on the moon with the copper $1 penny stack versus the zinc federal lie. He did what he could to clean up the glue. There's some gaps between the fucking pennies, but what the fuck can you do about that? Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna be able to say, what can this penny teach you about money? I know you motherfuckers don't give a shit about pennies because you're fucking fools, blinded.
It took me four tries. Sadly, it broke. I hopefully can get the security footage from this morning when I tried to put the rubber band and it smacked me right in the face. Hopefully, you'll see that playing now. <laughs> I honestly don't know how much we're going to get for the bronze and then whatever scrap price of bronze is for today, but definitely worth more than one dollar US legal tender. And you'll find out the answer how much it really is worth. Stay tuned.